Pun peeps. Hey, what a great morning here in San Diego. Hey, I want to show you something we got going today. A couple different things. I'm going to start you off here at the bottom of this property. The customer hasn't been here for about five years. So we're doing a diagnostic check on this water feature. But the real reason we're here today is the guys are doing a clean out on a smaller pond higher on the, on the property. But I'll show you what's going on here. This pond's about 10, maybe even 12 years old, an aquascape system. Big old skimmers, big old pumps, pumps all the way to the top. I'll show you a little bit of detail of what they did on this. We gotta figure out what's wrong with it. Look at this skimmer lid. Gives you an idea of how old this thing is. Aquascapedesigns.com. Now it's just aquascapes. This is good stuff. Let me show you what's happening. Come on up this hill. It's not very big. It's maybe 300 yards up here to the top of this thing. This system is supposed to pump water from these two grande skimmers all the way up this stream. At the moment, we're just filling it with water so we can check it out and see what it actually does. If we try to turn this system on now, it'll suck all the water just to fill the pools and won't flow. So we gotta get water in the holding pools in the meantime. Then we can turn it on and we can see what happens with it. This thing just keeps going on and on and on. All right, here's one of the funny stories about this pond. We're at the top of the system now. Waterfall comes off the hill. Now, a year and a half ago, the homeowner told me there was a car in this pond right here. Hey, it was a Toyota. It says so right there. How any of the rocks are anywhere where they're supposed to be, I don't know. But we gotta see what kind of damage that car did to it, if any. That's part of the diagnostics we're gonna have to go through on this pond. Check it out. Like I say, this thing's pretty rough right now. It's been sitting dry for a couple years. The car literally come right over the edge, right off the top, it was sitting here. Why these are still here, I don't know. I don't think it did much damage to it, but we're gonna try it and see what happens. Okay, now I'll show you what we're really here for. On up the hill, the guys are doing a pond clean out on a small ornamental pond. Goldfish, water lilies, that kind of stuff. Check it out. Pond peeps, you know, I really dislike cactus. This isn't a cactus, but these things get me every time. this little pond they're gonna be cleaning out. They're just getting set up now. Okay guys, this is nothing special. This is just a routine clean out. It doesn't have a problem. It's just overgrown and dirty. Cause like I said earlier, it's been a while since the homeowner's been here. It's been a while since they've done any maintenance or anything at all to take care of this feature. After a while, this stuff not only builds up here, but it builds up under the rock. And look at that. See, that's the main reason, the main problem. If we don't clean them up, this stuff gets thicker and thicker and eventually Tells the whole crash and all the fish and everything else die from poisoning. We're at the top of their waterfall. There's a bio falls hidden under there somewhere. We gotta dig that out. We're gonna go down there and clean this thing out all the way down, pulling out the plants we don't want. Some of the plants will leave. Some we'll just put in different places because we like them. All the way down this waterfall, basic cleaning, that stuff. This plant here, this isn't my favorite and I'm putting that nicely. We're gonna pull this puppy out. I do not like these. They itch, they get over, they drop, they dirty and they take over the pond. As you can see, this is the inlet to the pond right here and it goes right through that plant. If anything, things obstructing the water that plant is it's right in front of the main waterfall into the pond we're taking the whole thing out i hate it i don't like it by the way did i tell you i don't like these plants now you can see we got a really nice growth of water lilies in here but we're gonna have to trim down the water lilies that's a basic run through of what they're gonna do with this pond we'll show you a finished picture of it in a little bit
right, guys, this is my favorite bush I was telling you about that I hate so much. We got Simon over here ripping this garbage out. I'm gonna make it a pile of it. I'm gonna haul it off way down the hill. Okay, guys, these guys are getting at it, and I'm just gonna be in their way. So I'm gonna go run around, do a couple errands, check on something else, and then we'll come back and see where they're at, and I'll give you an update on what they're doing. See you in a little bit. Hey guys, we're back and the guys are in the middle of it. It looks great. Let me show you what's going on here. Remember that favorite bush I was telling you about that was right here and here? It was covering this whole area. It's out and there it is over there. It's not going back in. We don't like that stuff. We're gonna replace it with some canna, some calla, a lot of marginal plants. Gonna put the water lilies back in. This thing's gonna be beautiful. We'll show you later. <music> out this crazy stump that we're putting at the top this is gonna look so much better than just a bunch of weeds the guys are gonna fit this stump in there and the water's gonna come out from underneath it that's gonna be cool 